Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we are going to see the story behind Stanford University. All of us would have heard about Stanford University because it's a world famous university. But how it was started, that itself is a story. Come, let's go to the story. One day, a couple, that is a lady and a gentleman, dressed in a very simple color clothing, they came to Harvard University. And they wanted to meet the president of Harvard University. But the secretary looking at them, she thought that since they were very ordinarily dressed, they must be from an ordinary countryside. And uh, she thought that such people uh, should not have any business with Harvard because Harvard is a very prestigious place. Uh, and they did not have an appointment also with the president. Uh, and so she said that uh, the president will be busy all day. But the lady said, no problem, we'll wait. And uh, the secretary started ignoring them for hours, thinking that her behavior will make them discouraged and go away. But they waited patiently. And finally, the secretary had no option. So she informed the president that a couple has come and they are waiting. And um, she even informed him, maybe if you see them for a few minutes, they will leave. Just spend a few minutes they'll definitely go off and the president also came out with a stern face and he went towards a couple and when he reached the couple the lady told him that their son had attended harvard for a year and he really loved that place and he was very happy there but the previous year he was killed in an accident so she and her husband wanted to erect a memorial for him somewhere in the campus Hearing this, the president was truly touched. But he said, see, we cannot allow everyone who is attending Harvard to have a statue here after they die. In case if we allow such a thing, this whole place will be looking like a cemetery. Then the lady said, no, 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 I don't want to have a statue of my son here. We want to build a building for Harvard. Hearing this, the president uh, thought... Uh, that they have not understood the cost uh, it will take to build a building. And he told them, do you know how much it will take to uh, build a building for Harvard? Look at these buildings all. We spent nearly seven and a half million dollars to build all these buildings. Hearing that, the lady became silent and the president was very happy and he thought, okay, now they are going to go away because it's a very huge amount. But the learned lady turned towards her husband and said, if it's going to cost so less, why don't we start our own university? And her husband also nodded saying yes. Listening to this, the president did not understand what was happening. Actually, the people who came to see him were Mr. and Mrs. Leland Stanford. They too got up and they walked away and they went to Palo Alto in California. And they, they established their own university which bears their name. That is Stanford University. And that was a memorial which they built for their son. And even today, Stanford is a famous university and everyone loves to study there. And the person, Stanford, who came to meet this uh, Harvard president was actually a railroad magnate. He was also a U.S. senator and also the former California governor. He and his wife, Jane Lathrop Stanford, started this university in honor of their son Leland Stanford Jr. and this Leland Stanford Jr. died in 1884 just before his 16th birthday and he was their parents only son and uh, after his death his parents decided that all the children of California were their children and for the sake of their children they constructed this university and today it is one of the prestigious universities. Uh, there is also a story saying that uh, East Stanford's went and uh, visited uh, Charles Eliot, the Harvard president, and they asked what they should establish a university, a technical school or a museum. And the president only gave them an idea saying that they can start a university and uh, the amount which will be required to start the university was $5 million. Uh, Actually, this $5 million was the amount required in 1884. But today, if we are going to start a university of the same standard, we will require $131 million. So, we can understand uh, 
who are the people who came to see the president of Harvard University and uh, generally a saying goes uh, you should not judge a book by its cover and that is what happened here just looking at the dress the secretary and the president they did not know who they were actually but they proved to the world who they are and today many students are studying in the university which was named after their son if you have anything more to add on to this please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you